Bridget Jones. I'm coming to you today from this beautiful February day in the Portland area. It is 60 degrees, which is unheard of. So we are just enjoying the weather. Um, it is quite windy, but yet clear, and it feels so great. Um, and I wanted to talk today, as a horse is coming, about giving versus taking treats. And I know treats can be a really hot topic with people. Oh, some people say, I never give treats to my horse. Other people, that's all they do is give treats. So I wanted to talk about really kind of the psychology of a horse receiving a treat from you versus taking a treat from you. And I wanted to show what receiving a treat looked like with this horse. He's receiving a treat right now, and you can tell by his demeanor. He's um, being very respectful. Taking a treat is where the horse, and you can tell, really feels like he's entitled to that, that you owe him that treat, um, give it to me type of a thing. Whereas the receiving the treat is a thank you, it's a gift. Um, it's an appreciative, um, you know, feel about the horse and you really can feel the difference in the horse and so for me I use treats a lot I use just these small carrot strips or I'll use flax treats um, to reward my horse when they've done the right thing to tell them yes that is the behavior that I'm seeking because horses aren't very good guessers um, a lot of humans aren't very good guessers either I like to kind of be told what you know what I need to do. That makes me feel comfortable. And it's the same with horses. They're not good guessers. And so if you can help lead them to the right answer, um, some horses are more motivated by receiving a treat for the right answer, and some are more motivated by the release from pressure and you just leaving them alone. Um, I have one horse that's like that, that he will only take a treat if he feels really comfortable and really safe. Um, he won't take a treat if he doesn't feel comfortable. So for him, it's not really a valuable training tool. Um, and usually what I do with him is I will give him treats if he's in a relaxed state and at the end of the training session. Versus this horse that's right here is very motivated by treats. And he understands the right answer when I give him a treat. And I can tell with him whether he is accepting a treat or he's taking a treat from me. And if he's taking a treat from me, then I stop the treats. Um, another thing I hear is, well, if you feed, hand feed a horse, they'll bite you. Well, not if you feed them the treat properly, but again, it's all about the psychology of how that treat is going to the horse mentally. Um, I like to play a game where I throw treats for my horse and they will find them. Um, it, it makes it really fun for them. So even if they've gotten the right answer, I will throw a treat to them just for the fun of it and they love to seek treats. So hopefully I've helped you with kind of, you know, what I think of treats. Um, I think treats are great. How would you like to go through life never enjoying any of the small things in life that you like? Mine is chocolate. Feel free to send me chocolate. <laughs> Marley, I don't have any more treats. And they know when you don't. He's gonna go back to his alfalfa and keep eating. Um, I just think life would be pretty darn miserable if, you know, we don't treat each other kindly. But again, it's all in how you're giving and how it's being received. Um, and so, yeah. Wonder what you think. Let me know below and have a great day.